which is a little bit about Craig's family, Craig Wright. So his father, Friedrich Wright, was apparently a soldier in Vietnam. They apparently say he may have worked for the NSA. His maternal uncle, uh, Don Linham, also called Ronald, is a decorated Royal Australian Air Force Wing commander who earned the prestigious appointment of the Order of Australia. Uh, he was said to be an expert in cryptology, spoke multiple language, and did interrogations for high-value prisoners of wars in Australia. In light of the above, do you think Craig may have been born and groomed into the military-industrial complex? That's a, that's a juicy one. It is. Um, so, you know, it's interesting, because I think that era, uh, Craig's in his 50s, so he would have been born in the late 60s. I don't know ex his birth year exactly, but um, I think that's a really ripe era for, for lots of this kind of, um, you know, he's, he's the same age as like David Duchovny. So X-Files era kind of like, Hey, wait, was I a government experiment kind of thing? <laughs> and it's, it's funny cause he, there's a lot of parallels to that kind of thing in Craig's life. Um, Craig definitely had, uh, you know, he's, he's talked not at length, but he's talked a bit about some of his abuses as a child and, um, you know, broken family kind of stuff. I think dad was a kind of dangerous character, actually, maybe not just uh, not a bad father, but like a, a nasty father, basically. And um, as for Uncle Don, who I've not met, but I have seen on video uh, giving lots of testimony and things because I've covered a lot of Craig's court cases, uh, Don... It's funny because Don basically looks like I imagine Craig will look in 40 years, like looks like Craig, but 85 years old or 90 or whatever he is. And, you know, very bald, very white, wrinkly, but that same kind of side mouth Craig smirk thing that he does. So it's 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 funny to see that pop out across the generations. Um, I don't see Craig as specifically raised to be some kind of an asset it seems like craig's life was very chaotic as a kid um and it seems like don probably stepped in um specifically to be a good uncle uh because he needed it Th that being said i think don uh you know just the life that don seemed to lead which includes top secret you know code cracking and and you know communication intercept kind of stuff i think just kind of by default you know if, if your dad was a postman you're going to understand a little bit about the about the postal industry but if the guy that raised you is in uh high level you know cryptography and and communications intercept that's what you're going to learn in your life so um craig obviously had a uh had a knack for it had an interest in it uh including an interest in japanese culture and some of that other stuff that came with uh uh, some uh, like family members having lived in japan and the philippines and doing that kind of work obviously it just sort of appeals and, and sort of turned into that. So I, I don't think there was any sort of top down clandestine, uh, you know, Craig raised in a, in a test tube in order to create some kind of, uh, you know, super soldier, super code cracker um, intelligence in, you know, intelligence uh, asset or something. But, but I think by default, you know, Craig obviously had a lot of interest in it. Uh, I have met Craig's cousin, uh, who is, I think Don's, I've met a lot of Craig family members, so I forget exactly who's who, but uh, I met uh, somebody on, on that side who Craig learned to code with and stuff and was basically raised as kind of brothers, even though they were cousins. Um, and he, he has a similar cast, like, oh yeah, I ended up building like these, these interesting technical systems for the Australian military and, and, and all of that kind of stuff. So I think it's a little bit of a family thing probably just because it's what's talked about at the dinner table and um you know you want you want to impress the guy that that raised you and and who you respect and so i think just one of the ways to do it is to get good at what he's good at and perpetuates itself so that's my that's my feedback on that um tangentially i do think craig uh, legitimately has uh intelligence uh industry experience in in a big way i think there's lots of stuff we don't know because craig became an asset to the intelligence uh, community. But um, I, I don't know that anybody can comment on that fully because there's probably uh, a secret folder somewhere that has the real story there. And I'm, I am not privy to that. Yeah, it just seems a bit strange that 
he was actually communicating on DARPA, which was like the early internet, even before civilian yep. use. He was actually mm -hmm. using it during the military time. Um, and, you know, not many people have access to that. So you're right. It may just be his family upbringing, not necessarily anything sinister, but maybe that's what just he was exposed to. Yeah. 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 That, that's how it seems to me. Um, <laughs> like I, I got into the printing industry because I'm fourth generation in the printing industry. Uh, you know, my, my great grandmother had a print shop and then, you know, just kind of pilfers out. It's like, well, you can work here when you get of age and then that's the experience you have. And just kind of makes sense after a while. Like I imagine my kids, uh, cause I've pivoted out of that. My kids will probably get into tech and media and whatever. Cause it's, they, they see what I do. And if, if they like me, <laughs> they'll want to emulate. And then I have connections and like, that's just kind of how, uh, how things get, um, put together, I think, but, but who knows? I mean, the military industrial intelligence complex stuff is, is also really, really weird, but, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. So